Welcome to Activity 2-4, Summarizing Data with a Crosstab Query. The database that we'll be working with is Crosstab, which is up underneath your uh, Access Level 2 Student Worksheet Files subdirectory of Writing Advanced Queries. So let's open up the Crosstab Query, I mean uh, the Crosstab Database. And as always, let's save it underneath a different name before we do anything with it as the Access 2007 Database. We're going to place it on our desktop. And we're, this time here, I'm going to call it My. Or, well, no. Let's call it Class. Save it. Underneath the security warning, up here at the top, click on Options, enable this content, and click on OK. Now we're ready to start moving with the exercise. If you notice that um, it's it's calling us to open up a query, uh, the Q cell quarter one sales query in Design View. We don't have queries right here. It doesn't show any. So we have to right click on the tables, show all groups, which in this case it will show all access objects, which means that it will show the tables, the queries, and the forms that has information in it. Uh, if, if there's other access objects, and it doesn't have any in, any information in it. It won't show it. So, all right. So we're supposed to select this one, the Q cell quarter one sales, at least Q one, in Design View. So right click, Design View. What I normally do whenever I get into this kind of stuff is I separate my tables out. It's just out of habit. And then I extend my tables. That way there I can view everything that's in there. And look at what fields that there are inside each of these tables. Come on. There we go. All right. We are able to view all the fields inside each of these four tables as shown. And we'll go down each each column here. We have category. Well, I mean, is that we have a field name category coming from table categories right here. We have a product, the field name product coming from the table products, which is right here. Then we have date, that's coming, the field name date coming from table orders, which is over here. Right there's the date, and then that's it. Uh, notice that there is a uh, an expression written, so we're going to ex extend the expression so we can read it. And then there's another expression right here underneath the criteria for the date field. So we're going to extend that one too just as well. I like to extend them so then that way there that you can see everything that's inside each expression and stuff. So four criteria. Um, from what it's saying here, observe the query and then it's telling us to run it. So basically we're going to go up here, we're going to run, it should show 730, yeah, 730 uh, records displayed. So we're going to go ahead and save the query, and then close it, up here at that disk, and we're going to close it. Select the create from the ribbon, and then we're going to query wizard. Since this is a cross tab lesson. Well, of course, we're going to create a cross tab query. So select the cross tab query wizard and then click on OK.
Now in this new query uh, dialog box, in the view section, right here, we're going to select queries because that's what the instructions are tell, is telling us to do. So from the list of these queries, we're going to select the Q cell, the one that we'll, one that what we just saw basically, the Q cell Q1 sales query, and we're going to click on next. We're going to select, make sure category is selected. Click on the greater than, so then that way there that you see that category underneath the selected fields uh, area. As you notice here, the first column within the sample area, we have category. Category 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. And we're going to click on next. And we're going to sort it by, we're going to call these up here the dates. Okay, um, pretty sure that's what it was. Um, yeah, the date is selected. So we're going to select the date. Click on next, and then we're going to click on month. It will change these uh, columns into months. Click on next, and then what we're going to do, we're going to select sale because we want to know how much how much of the sales did we get in January, February, and March. And this will be a sum. That's one of our math functions, what we're going to do. Then we're going to click on next. We're going to keep it as the default. That's the default name. And then we're going to view the query. Click on finish. Now, as you can tell, we have the categories. These are our categories. And then these here are our months, which what we did. And right here, where I'm extending the second column, that's the sum of what we counted. So this is something that was not within the query. It's something what the query had created. So it adds up everything from January through March, and this is the total of the sale for those three months for that first quarter. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put it into design mode. So you can go ahead and click on the home, click on that uh, triangle thing and stuff, and then we're going to click on the property sheet. You can see. If we go back, what we want to do, we want to eliminate April on down. We only want to show these three months. So we're going to go back to the design view. Click on the property sheet. Oh, okay, kind of made a mistake here. Uh, right click, properties. Yeah, there we go. That's how that you do it. Um, what I did basically it is I clicked anywhere in this white space, right click, and then click on properties. And then it has underneath the column headings, January, so on and so forth. We're going to right click over any of this area right here within the column headings, and we're going to zoom in. Now again, we can go ahead and change the font in case it stresses your eyes and stuff, so make it easier to read. We only want the first three months because it's the first quarter. So we're going to select from the last quote, because if you notice here at the end of December, there isn't a comma. So we don't want to leave a comma after March. So we're going to select that, select everything, and then hit the delete button. We have January, February, March. That's it. That's all we want. Click on OK. As it shows underneath this column headings, the changes what we made. 
So we're going to close this. And then now we're going to run it again. And as you can tell, we don't have April through December, which is what we want. Uh, in fact, that we just got done with this whole lesson within just that short amount of time. Um, however, that uh, it did mention on question seven, what features do you notice in the design created by the wizard? Well, if you notice by from the previous one on this uh, right here, why don't we open up that? You have category, product, date, and sale. For our cross tab query, well, it created those fields in two rows and in, in two columns and put the data into the rows. Plus, it also created a total of sale. It created that column, which adds up all the amounts from January through March for that particular category. And that is the end of activity 2-4 summarizing data with a cross tab query. Now we don't need to save, well I mean you can go ahead and save it for your thing because since uh, we did name it underneath a different name. But uh, that's it.